Good morning, this is Manu Walia from uh, Continuum Global Asset Management on June 17th with the market commentary. Uh, one of the most interesting things that happened this morning was the revaluation of the yuan by the Chinese government and their endeavor to make their currency more uh, flexible. I, I think that this is one of the most uh, important observations in the growth of world economy and I'll tell you why. Um, we all know that the economic advancement and development is for the betterment of society, for a better standard of living. Now, countries like China and India currently have very, very high reserves, China having about $2.7 trillion and India with about $300 billion of reserves. Now, where do they have these reserves from is by primarily exporting to regions like North America and um, uh, the European countries. Now, based on the last few years, what's happened is that Europe and the US have taken extreme amounts of debt to sustain their standard of living. Now, we all know that that's not sustainable, and I believe that China and India also recognize the fact that at some point in time, internal or domestic consumption will have to come into play for their economies to sustain that growth and also to be able to enjoy the benefits of their own productivity. Now, um, one of the most important and intriguing factors with emerging countries like China, India, Brazil, and so on and so forth has been the importance of cheap labor. Uh, United States in particular has been uh, the forerunner with um, with innovation but as we go forward we recognize more and more that these countries will start to use their reserves and start to benefit their own population by consuming goods and products and services because the United States and Europe cannot by itself uh, sustain global growth um, we believe strongly um, that the revaluation of the yuan is not just um, an exclusive event. I believe that this will happen predominantly on more uh, emerging countries like India, uh, Malaysia, Vietnam, so on and so forth. And we would see more and more disposable income coming out of these countries. Hence, we believe that investors should look at long-term uh, investments in countries like we just mentioned uh, some of the Latin American countries, Southeast Asian countries, because that's where the true growth is coming from and that's where countries like the US, like the regions like Europe and um, other developed countries are also going to go ahead and sell their products and services and try to benefit from this burgeoning um, middle slash upper middle class. If you'd like to uh, go into details about our market commentary or any of the other newsletters that we've published, please contact us uh, at www.cgamadvisor.com. Once again, that's www.cgamadvisor.com. Thanks for listening and have